Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. So we are in day four of lockdown because of the coronavirus here. And it never rains, but it pours. So as well as all the kids going mental with cabin fever, we've got aquarium problems too. So this is my display aquarium in my living room. It's the, the big tank, the big discus display tank. And it also houses my Mabu puffer, as you will have seen if you've been following the channel. If you haven't been following the channel, click that subscription link. Um, so the Mabu has been in here for a few weeks now and everything has been fine until, well, last night basically, where I came down to find him um, it just looking funny. So he's very dark, um, just didn't look right, was kind of lopping to one side. Um, so I posted all, on all my groups, all my resources that I knew of to ask for advice and help. Ultimately, not getting any. So uh, this may not be ideal conditions for him because it was potentially too hot. I might have been overfeeding him slightly. Um, but these are things that would they'd take a long time to have effect rather than something that would happen instantly. Um, but yeah, so last couple of days, noticing problems, keeping a really close eye on him. He will, every now and again, just swim away and look normal and then other times oh, back down looking dead a few times i've come and i thought oh he's gone he's dead and as soon as I, I got to the tank you can see his eyes moving and quite often he would get up and swim around kind of going in between swimming around looking healthy and swimming around looking really weird so lopsided or bumping into things or as if he's just not quite with it or even <laughs> looking drunk slightly um, but yes, I think we've come to a head uh, because I found my overflows are on this side and I found them up against the overflow. So I was wondering whether or not to move them into a, a quarantine tank so as I could treat easier. Not that I know exactly what I'm treating for, um, but I thought maybe that'd be too stressful to move them. But if you can, no, you probably can't see, but over here anyway is my overflows that go into the sump and I found the poor guy trapped up against them in there. So I've quickly put them into this little jug just to keep them away from that and we're going to move them downstairs into one of my quarantine tanks just so there's no risk of them getting sucked up against an overflow and getting extra stressed that way so I think it's worth the risk so we'll do that now. So popped them back into the tank that he was using as a quarantine um, just in the bucket there at the moment I'm not going to do anything to let them come out. I'm going to turn those lights off actually because they shouldn't be on. I hadn't noticed that. Yeah, but as you can see, he's in there. His eyes are quite active. He's moving around and stuff. And there's his little guppy friend from before. But yeah, something's not right and I just don't know what to do. Let's turn those lights off. So here we are the next day again. Um, I have been checking periodically every couple of hours while I've been awake and he has been moving around a little bit, swimming a little bit um, I'm saying he, I've no idea whether it's a he or a she um, the lights have literally just come on um, which is usually a time when he will be a bit like Ooh, uh, what's going on, as most people would be when they've just woken up um, so at least he's not lying on his side or upside down, so I'm counting that as an improvement. We'll give him a little bit of time with the lights on to see if he's coming, if he's going to come back round. And I want to see if I can get some footage of him from different angles, because I'm still posting on some groups trying to see if I can get some help as to what might be the cause. The current thinking might be some kind of constipation or needing another treatment of warming. And it's quite common that you need to warm puffer fish. Um, and I did do that with this one um, when I first got them but it might need multiple courses so we'll check that so we'll come back in a little while so it's last thing at night just about to go to bed I thought I'd come down and check out what was going on um, very little hasn't moved in quite a while um, I did try another course of warmer. Did that this morning, so that was got. It'll be 12 hours ago now. Um, 
I'm noticing a little bit of kind of fluffy stuff on his tail there and possibly down at the back end. I don't know if that's just some detritus floating around or some kind of bacterial thing. There might be something towards his rear end there as well. Um, but I really don't want to go in and start poking around quite yet. Um, I might have a look at that in the morning. But yeah, not good. So, another new day. Not really any improvement. Um, just kind of lolling about, trying to go sideways again. I really just don't know. So, day three now, in the afternoon. Still no real change at all. Um, I am just turning these lights on. So as you can see, and so that I can check them out and see if there's any differences. Leaving the lights on for kind of half an hour so as he gets a chance to settle back down again. But it's almost like he's paralysed. Still moving, the eyes still falling me around. Every now and again he does get up, swim about, and then just kind of float back down to the bottom again. It's just so bizarre. I feel terrible because I don't know what to do. So there you have it, that's the current situation at the moment. Not the most encouraging of signs and just baffling. Don't know what's going on. Um, I have, and it's probably time for a rant, but I have reached out to various groups and Facebook groups and forums and things like that. And it's a wonder that people struggle with this because I posted the same thing. So I'll put out here the information that I gave out as me asking for help. And I posted that same thing across everything and the amount of either ignorant nonsense or just um, unhelpful or even aggressive replies that you get on some place. So I put out that information, I included the little video of the, the puffer lying on top of the, um, the broken plant pot, lying on his side, not moving, uh, all that information and I got all kinds of responses like from things like, oh you should feed blood worms. And what universe is that going to help? Um, I had one person in two separate groups, the same person. One person told me to drop the temperature, one person told me to raise the temperature. I had one person to tell me to go f myself because I refused to immediately euthanize the fish. Um, yeah, so you can see why people get worried about Facebook groups and things like that. But I did find one really good and really helpful place. Um, it was the same one I've publicized before. It's the Puffer Fish. In fact, what is it called? Let's just look it up. It is Pufferfish Keeping UK. Um, so some really knowledgeable people there that really know their stuff when it comes to puffers. And just such a much more pleasant experience asking for help there and getting some good quality questions back before any advice is given. Um, when I ask questions back, no one's jumping down my throat and no one's accusing me of anything. It's just always good solid information being shared, thoughtful stuff and hopefully we'll get somewhere but I must say I'm not holding out a lot of hope at the moment so I will keep you updated if you follow me on the Facebook groups or things like that all the links will be in the description I'll post updates down there as and when things happen and if you've got any ideas by all means let me know but please if you don't have any ideas don't feel compelled to just shout out any random nonsense like 90% of the internet does um, and enjoy your lockdown. See you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Just a quick note, obviously I am in the UK. There is a, a nationwide lockdown going on at the moment because of the COVID-19 stuff. So, although I appreciate people are still wanting to buy things from my shop, if it's something that I'm shipping, then I just can't do it at the moment. I have to be limiting myself to really essential travel and as much as you wanting some shrimp or some plants, it's probably not really essential. So happy free to order, but please, uh, I'm not going to be shipping anything until this is all over. Um, 
the same doesn't apply for any merch stuff so if you click on my merch store I have created a couple of new designs which are kind of touching on my current feelings of what this lockdown feels like at the moment um, but that is a third party and they are shipping so you can get stuff from there um, but yeah stay safe folks see you later